Hi, my name is Dennis Brager. Here at Brager Tax Law Group, we do one thing and one thing only. We represent clients who have tax problems with either the Internal Revenue Service or one of the California state taxing authorities, such as the Employment Development Department, the Franchise Tax Board, or the State Board of Equalization. This video is part of a multi-part series on foreign bank accounts and foreign bank account reporting. Today, we're going to be talking about what are the penalties if you fail to file this FBAR form. I like to say that there are four different tiers. Uh, the top tier, if you will, and probably the worst potential problem is, is that the failure to file an FBAR is considered a crime for which you can go to jail. You can be fined up to $250,000 and go to jail for five years or both if you willfully fail to file the foreign bank account report. In addition, if you have a foreign account, on your income tax return, there's a box that you're supposed to check acknowledging the existence of the account. And if you check the box that says no, then you filed a false tax return. And the filing of a false tax return is itself punishable by up to three years in jail and a $100,000 fine. Now, as you might imagine, the IRS can't prosecute everybody who doesn't file an FBAR form. However, there are a series of fairly draconian civil penalties which are imposed. And there are three tiers for these civil penalties. If the IRS can show that you willfully failed to file the FBAR form, then the penalty is a fine of the greater of $100,000 or 50% of the balance in the foreign account. Let me give you an example. Assume you have an account with $15,000 in it. You could be charged a penalty of $100,000 for having that account and intentionally not reporting it to the IRS. Let's assume you had a much larger account. The account had a balance of a million dollars in it. In that case, the penalty would be $500,000. The IRS can impose this penalty for each year that the account was open. The only restriction on that is that the IRS has a six-year statute of limitations. They can only go back six years. So the maximum penalty on that $15,000 account would be $600,000. And the maximum penalty on the million-dollar account would be $3 million. The next tier down from there is the non-willful FBAR filing penalty or the negligent failure to file an FBAR. In that instance, the penalty is $10,000 per year. Again, the restriction is the IRS can go back only up to six years. So no matter what the size of the account, if you've negligently failed to file the FBAR, the penalty would max out at that $10,000 per year. Now the IRS says that it's not just $10,000 per year, but $10,000 per year per account. So if you had five accounts, the IRS says the penalty each year is $50,000 multiplied by the six years or a penalty of $300,000. Now we here at Brager Tax Law Group believe that the IRS is incorrect and that the maximum penalty for neg negligent failure to file an FBAR is $10,000 per year. But so far, there are no court cases which help us answer that question. So it's uh, open to interpretation at the moment. The next tier down is reasonable cause. If you can demonstrate to the IRS that you had reasonable cause for the failure to file the FBAR, then no penalty will be imposed. Now I can tell you that it's pretty difficult to show that you had reasonable cause. Generally, you're going to have to be able to demonstrate to the IRS that you went to a tax professional such as a tax lawyer or a CPA, told them about the existence of the foreign account, and that tax professional advised you that there was no requirement to file an FBAR. And that's fairly unusual.